Okay, now we got you. Okay, uh, Andy, we'll ask you to make some uh, opening comments, uh, and then we'll uh, ask the media to raise their hand if they have a question. I'll call on them. Let me get this recorded. Okay, Andy, if you can make some opening comments, please. It was a tough game. Both teams played very hard. Came down to last possession, and uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, they got an offensive rebound, and that was the game. Okay, uh, let's start with uh, Adam Grossbart. Andy, the team started really slow from on offense, and Chavez had that elbow, and Ethan with his uh, technical foul. Did you feel like the team came out, you know, without the right amount of poise for this type of game? Uh, no, didn't think that. We just weren't playing very well offensively to start the game. I think we uh, we turned the ball over a few times and we missed a lot of shots. And uh, we, we weren't uh, – uh, our offense wasn't flowing like it has been the last uh, few weeks, two weeks. And uh, then, then we started to, to, to really move the ball, play well, and, and uh, started to shoot a very high percentage after that. We shot 60% in the second half, 52 for the game. So our guys really, really turned it on. But, no, uh, our guys were ready to play. They just didn't play very well. Okay, uh, we'll go to Mark Culkin now. Coach, in the second half, particularly maybe the last three to five minutes of the game, you saw your shooters willing to take the outside shot. Was there a tentative, were they tentative in the beginning wanting to take those open shots? Because it kind of disrupts the flow of your offense that you were talking about. Well, it's an issue. Uh, uh, like, like Ethan, when he charged uh, with about five or six minutes left in the game, uh, we, we were yep. down two, and he had a wide open three when Evan threw it out. And, and instead of shooting it, he drove and, and got a charge call. And uh, we've been telling Ethan and Drew and, and our other guys, if you're open, you have to shoot that. It, it really hurts our offense if, if uh, our guards are, are open and they don't take open shots. Uh, so uh, I was happy to see Drew. Uh, Drew made one, a big one down the stretch for us, and Taj made a couple big ones. But, uh, yeah, you can't uh, – it's hard, it's hard to run offense if, if the teams can – sag in a lane and, and double your bigs or double Evan, and then no one wants to shoot from the perimeter. So uh, the last few minutes, uh, we, we took those shots and uh, got back in the game and tied it up. Yeah, it seemed like uh, Taj Edi had, what, I think 10 or 11 points in those last three minutes or so uh, to get you guys and get that last opportunity. Um, can you go walk us through that last possession where all of a sudden the refs didn't want to use their whistles this game? You mean on the, uh, the the out of bounds play that we ran the, the full court? Yeah, the last possession where you didn't even get it. they didn't get the shot off. Uh, well, we, we we executed it perfectly, and uh, uh, Evan got the ball in the middle. Taj broke, and uh, McKinley right pushed him in the back, right in front of right in front of our bench, and that was the game. And they didn't call a foul. Thank you. Okay, uh, Rich Rubin. Um, Andy, um, at the half, the, the uh, rebounding uh, was even for both teams, but in the second half, they seemed to control the boards, particularly the offensive boards. Is there any reason that, that they were so successful rebounding the ball? Well, we had our hands on some balls, and uh, it seemed like uh, uh, we, had, we, had, we had our hands on probably four or five uh, defensive rebounds, and we just couldn't come up with it. It was frustrating to watch because uh, they had five – Look at the stats. There's five team offensive rebounds, which means uh, the ball gets tipped out of bounds, or we had our hands on it, and, and the ball gets tipped out of bounds. So it's not it's not attributed to a particular player. It's attributed just to a team because we we couldn't come up with a ball. So we, we we've been a very good rebounding team all year, but uh, uh, tonight we just had our hands on a lot of them, just couldn't come up with it. Um, Andy, what what did you say to the players in the locker room? Um, obviously, there's disappointment but there's a, a big week coming up. Uh, well, we played very hard tonight. Uh, we got back in the game. We tied it up. Uh, we, look, we, we cut it. We had a chance to take the lead uh, with probably about six or seven minutes left. Isaiah White missed a three from the left corner. Uh, and then McKinley Wright went down and got fouled. So instead of being, uh, uh, you know, we, we had a chance to take the lead on that. Ethan, I think, also had a chance to shoot that three when he got that charge. And, uh, either tie it or take the lead. Uh, so we had our chances, and then, and then 
they, they made a few more shots and I uh, was very proud of our team, how we fought back at the end, the last three minutes, we, we, we tied it up again. So, uh, uh, look, we battled. Uh, that was a very physical basketball game, and uh, they just made the last play. And like I said, uh, you know, it was a, it was a, a tip in, and then uh, you know, we actually we actually executed our last play pretty well. And and I thought uh, Todd got pushed in the back, uh, but uh, uh, there was no call. So so we'll uh, move on, uh, get ready for uh, Indianapolis, and uh, uh, our guys are. Uh, uh, you know, we're, we're very, very proud of what they've accomplished this year to put themselves in this position. Sure, we would have liked to have win, won this game tonight, uh, but we didn't. Uh, so we have to keep our heads up. Our players have to realize they've accomplished a lot. But at the same time, uh, it's a new season. Everybody is going to be one and done once we get to Indianapolis, and they have to realize that every possession will matter uh, whenever we play our first game. Thanks, Andy. Okay, uh, Ryan Karchi. Andy, Evan had, you know, 26 points again tonight, 52 over the last two games. What's he proven to you over this stretch of this Pac-12 tournament? Uh, well, he's, he's been very aggressive offensively, and he's played really well. Uh, I asked him if he needed a break at the 12-minute mark, and it was a timeout, and he, he said he didn't need one and played 39 minutes tonight. So just a guy to be able to play that long and that, and that well with that – that type of stamina is pretty impressive for someone that big and, and uh, extent he ex exerts so much energy on both sides of the ball. So very proud of Evan, his development. He's really improved as a player throughout the season. And uh, we are going to need him to play at this level uh, starting um, at the end of this week. And Andy, you guys have lost seven in a row to Colorado. Each of those games, you guys have been out rebounded. What is it about this team, especially? I know this season you haven't been out rebounded by many teams. What, what is it about this team, especially, that gives you trouble? Uh, well, number one, their point guard. If you remember, uh, I think for three straight years when Jordan McLaughlin was a sophomore, junior, and senior, we, I think we won every game for three years. And then for the last three years, when McKinley Wright was a sophomore, junior, and senior, they, they've beaten us. So uh, he, he's very hard to stop. He's, he's an exceptional player. And they also have great size, and 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 they have uh, they have six seniors on their team. They're very experienced, and they're very physical, and uh, and and for some reason, uh, they shoot the ball very very well against us. And uh, if you if you look at uh, uh, their last couple of games, uh, they didn't shoot it so well, uh, even their last game. But uh, tonight they were they were on fire again, uh, and, and so give them credit. Uh, Horn and, and McKinley Wright both made four threes. McKinley Wright was shooting 25% from the three-point line coming into the game, and, and tonight he went four for six. And so uh, they, they, they played very well, uh, and, and they're very physical, and, and they, I think they have five or six seniors. So give them credit. They played a good game. Okay, we'll go to one last person, the shotgun. Andy, what does this game tell you about your team and their chances in the NCAA tournament? Uh, well, uh, two good – Two good teams played tonight. It came down to the last possession, and uh, I, I think uh, we can compete with anybody. Uh, but we, but we, there's certain things we do well. I think we're we're 18 or 19, 19 and 0, when three guys get double figures, and tonight we only had two. Uh, I think we're three and seven in the games that uh, uh, I think we're 19 and 0 when three guys get double figures, and and three and seven when they don't. Uh, tonight we only had two. So uh, last night we had six guys in double figures. So we we need a uh, uh, we need a third score. Uh, we need to uh, be able to put up uh, 70 some points uh, against a really good offensive team like Colorado is. Tonight we had seven, 70 even. So if we face a, a really good offensive team in a tournament, uh, we do need to score the ball ourselves. Uh, and, and then we have to keep defending at the same level we've been doing all year. What do you think you need to tighten up going into next week? Well, there's, there's always things you can tighten up. Uh, we, uh, uh, we, we made a couple of defensive mistakes tonight to give them uh, some threes. And, and uh, uh, so, so you can always tighten up your defense. And then uh, like I just, just mentioned our offense has to flow. I thought we did a terrific job. And for, for the last 30 minutes, we shot 52% for the game, 60% in the second half. And so I thought our offense really, uh, we started sharing, sharing the ball and, and getting great inside outside play. And, and uh, uh, so, uh, but our offense has to, uh, ha has to, uh, be like it has been the last two weeks. 
Okay, Andy, thanks for coming in and joining us. Uh, we will talk to you on Sunday at 4 p.m. after the NCAA selection show. A reminder to the media, Andy and a player or two will be available uh, on the Zoom link that we've used uh, during the regular season for our post-game pressers. So you can uh, catch us then. Uh, so with that, Andy, we'll let you go. I think we have Tajidi uh, ready to bring up. So thank, thank you.